Robert Simmons. My name is Robert Simmons. I've actually been here twice before trying to get you involved in solving a problem at the Cabarrus County Department of Social Services. They are openly discriminating against people because of their race and sex. They are denying people help with medical care. They are denying people help with their food stamps. And they play games. Like, for example, the only time I ever get any help if the person's of the same race as me. If my case is assigned to a person of a different race than me, no matter what it is, food stamps or any kind of thing, I don't get any help for a long period of time. Or if they do anything, I don't get told about it, it just happens. I get no communication, they return no phone calls, and then I have to go in and I have to file complaints and play the jerk. And I had to do this seven or eight times in the last two years after I got hurt really, really badly. I come to you guys, I ask you to get involved. Now I'm asking, the, there are five people, including you, Mr. Mesmer, that was on the board of directors overseeing the Cabarrus County Department of Social Services. I now understand that it's changing over, that there's new people coming in. But you're still the people that are there. So I'm going to give you the opportunity to show me that you really want to solve this problem. Ben Rhodes is the wrong person to run the Department of Social Services. He isn't running that place. He's letting his female staff members run this place. And they're afraid to do anything to solve this problem for the very simple reason that if they go to a black woman and they say, you can't be yelling and screaming at people you don't like, you can't be denying them help, then they get called a racist and that prevents them from getting promoted. We have to get past this problem. I'm going to go one step further. To show you how badly that place is ran, I got involved in an organization through them called the uh, Community Free Clinic, which is paid for by, I think it was a uh, community care of Southern Piedmont. It turns out that Mrs. Tricia Baker, who's overseeing the food and stamp uh, part of the DHHS, also is on the board of directors for this organization. At that time, I had a brain tumor. I did not realize I had a brain tumor. I only knew that I had really bad head pains and that I couldn't get anyone to help me find out why. Several doctors at uh, CMC Northeast knew I had a brain tumor, but they did not tell me. They kept it a secret. When I went to the Community Free Clinic, Grace Liam, a nurse practitioner, also did not tell me. In my original papers going in there, they mentioned that I was complaining of serious head pains. But right afterwards, they, they kept it out. They no longer talked about head pains. I did find out that $5 million is coming from the state of North Carolina going to this program of Southern Piedmont. And they use that money to allegedly provide medical treatment for people in Cabarrus County. Well, it turns out that there's a possibility that Gerald Mack who is the operations manager for that, was involved in a scam with CMC Northeast in which they were funneling all $5 million directly and strictly to the hospital. It seems that when I started mentioning to them that I was going to go to a, another organization, to have, another medical provider to have my head looked at, an organization that would have been paid for by CCP, they threw me off the program. I kept trying to ask them why did they throw me off, and they gave me varying reasons. They said I did not follow a plan of order, but after many letters, they would never tell me what that plan of order was that I didn't follow. I, I went to Fletcher Hartsell, a Republican senator, to ask him to help me solve this problem, and he said I can't because I'm on the board of directors for Community Free Clinic. I went to Tricia Baker, and I asked her. I says, uh, about, about the problem. She couldn't help me. She was on the board of directors for CCP. And I kept asking CCP, why didn't you tell me I had a brain tumor? And they would never answer that question. But yet Mrs. Baker, who oversees the food stamp part of the DHHS, is on that board of directors. She couldn't have found out that answer, why they not only would not tell me I had a brain tumor, but would not pay for my treatment and would instead throw me off the minute they found out that I'm going to somebody who's going to suck money away from CMC Northeast. Now, just to give you guys an example of how mad I am, I'm going to sue you for $2 million unless somebody shows me that they're serious. I'll give you one week. Then I'll go down, I'll file the papers. I don't need a lawyer. I'm a smart enough man to take you into court. I'm asking you to help me solve the problem. I've come there as a nice guy a couple of times, trying to get this problem solved. Now I'm going to be a jerk. 
One week, I want to see somebody sit down with me. Now, I've had a conversation over the phone with the county attorney, Mr. Cook, about the situation. One last thing. I know I'm over my time, but this is to show you how bad it is at DHHS. I went in there and was politely asking a lady a question about the name of another person. I have chemical pores and I cannot read the name tags. I had a bunch of illegal aliens gang up on me in the workplace and harmed me very seriously because I speak Spanish. They don't like Spanish-speaking Americans that aren't Hispanic working with them. And uh, I went in there and I was asking her nicely what the name of this lady was down there who had, I've watched discriminate against 30 white people over the years. And she didn't know. So I said, that's fine, don't worry about it. And a woman next to me began to attack me, verbally attack me. A woman I never met before in my life. i never seen before. And uh, I ignored her. As I was leaving, I looked at her. She began to verbally attack me again. So I came back later and I had a conversation with a supervisor. And then a couple of weeks later, I got a letter telling me that how I was standing up in front of the, all these people making racial slurs and saying how much I hated black people. I never said any of those things. But that's what comes out of DHS when it is corrupt and incompetent and badly managed. I'm not the only white man who's ever had this problem. There are hundreds of white people who have had this problem. I'm the only one with the courage and the tenacity to come up to you and let you understand that I've had enough. It's going to stop with your help or without your help. I'm going to do something to either embarrass this county so badly that they replace Ben Rose and Trisha Baker, or we're going to get involved together and solve the problem. You can't let people harm other people. Their attitude is they can do anything they want to me, and no one will do anything about it. For the last time, help me solve this problem, or I will bring it into the court and into the newspapers and into television. Thank you. Thank you.